All right, looks pretty good, huh? Big wire. That means I'm gonna have to go buy 17 more feet of this wire. To each of the solar controllers. If perchance the solar controller were to short out and the battery can put out hundreds of amps of energy all at one time. We have to test this snail horn to see if it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are we gonna scare the heck out of? Losing 117 watts right now. Previously on Spoon Drifter, we spent three years in a boatyard bringing our 40-year-old hurricane damaged sailboat back to life. Todd, I, and four of our 10 kids knew nothing about boats when we started, but with time, we have repowered, re-rigged, and turned this boat into a home that's nearly ready for the next big adventure. We spent this summer learning to sail and adding the last essential pieces before we sail to Florida and leave the U.S. for bluer waters. Hello? What are you doing? What am I doing? Yeah. Well, I needed more real estate. So what do you do? You exercise your totalitarian government authority, eminent domain, and you sell off the slums and you put in your shopping mall where you want it. In other <laughs> words, I had to move all of the diesel fuel line stuff to give me room on the wall for the solar chargers. The diesel fuel got relegated to the back alleys and the solar chargers get the prime real estate right at front where they got lots of air. Okay, it's been a bit of time. Got all that done. Now it's time to get the stuff inside done. Big wire. This has got to go from the solar controller bus bar to the house bank. I'm not sure I have enough because I only have 21 feet of this left as a single length and then I think I got a five foot piece. I put hash marks for measuring it, see how long it is. And if I'm under 10 feet, then I can cut it and I can use the other piece for the other side. But if I'm more than it, at least it tells me how much product I have to go buy. Here we go. This is just kind of how it goes, guys. Really, there's no magic way to do this. We don't know all the things before we started. We just dove in, and you can do this too. Yeah, let me see. See if I can see where it is. Is it good? Yep. The little hash marks that are there, what, what does it say? 11. So I've used 11 feet to there. Pull it to you, gently. All right, that's probably good right there. Well, I got to put an end on this. I think I got enough out here for my bus bar at this point. Should just about reach the negative bus bar. If I come in here, see where we ended up. It's going to run over here and then over there. So I probably need four more feet. So 17 feet of run per side. That means I'm going to have to go buy 17 more feet of this wire. But you can see my fancy Victron station I got mounted. See that? Isn't that nice? This is going to be my mount for my solar panel breaker box. Had to bend it a little bit to contour to the side of the boat. A little bit more. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, well, how's it going back there? Uh, pretty good. So most of the wiring in here is done at this point. All our wiring is going to come in here. There's a hole right there. It comes in from the uh, bimini top and goes through bimini frame down through that hole. It's going to come down and it's going to work its way over here and down into this hole which goes into the breakers for all the solar panels. I got one, two, three, four, five breakers. I got room for one more. Our friend Klaus is bringing us a uh, 200 watt panel. The breaker box is just to shut the solar panel system off so that I can work on the system. And then it comes out of the breaker box and goes over here to each of the solar controllers. Is this the new selfie um, station? <laughs> Shaking the selfies? Anyway, okay, as I'm saying, <laughs> so the, shut that up girls. All right, shut the door. We're filming here. Bye-bye. Things you deal with trying to make a video. 
Okay, so um, the big one up there is for the solar arch in the back where the dinghy davits are. I'm sorry for the noise. And I can't lock it. Don't worry about it, just shut the door. <laughs> ah! uh, where was I? Oh, yes. Trying to describe to you the problem. <laughs> Okay, stop. All right, so the big one, the big solar charger does three 320s, so that's 960 watts. All of that is dedicated to the motor bank, the 48 volt motor bank. The four smaller chargers um, are all on the Bimini top. So the two bigger chargers are for the 320 watt units and the two smaller chargers are for the 100 watt units. And so they basically go into the, each of those units and then they go out into two separate areas. The first area is for the house bank and it goes into a, what is it called? It's called a safety hub. This unit here is designed for up to 100 amps. I got 30, 60, 90 amps worth of solar coming into here. Slide this in underneath it like that. I have them on hand if you need them. So this one is now done. The bus bar side, which that safety hub is essentially a type of a bus bar as well. You're supposed to fuse on the side of the source of power, as close to the source of power as you can. And fuse protects the wire, not the device. If perchance the solar controller were to short out, that would cause energy to flow back into it from the battery bank because the battery bank is a higher source of power than the solar charger is. And the battery can put out hundreds of amps of energy all at one time really fast if you short something out. So I put the fuse on the bus bar side of the battery to protect the wiring going back to the solar controllers in case the solar controllers fail. Got lunch. I got lunch. I'm so blessed what? that somebody make me lunch. These wires right here. And I have these wires right here. All need to come over and go in and down through this tube. So I gotta drill a hole through the aluminum. Don't want to have any sharp edges for the wires. So this is a electrical plastic conduit. So our wires are gonna come in from the bottom. Go up, out, and over. What I'm gonna do is, yes, I have the keys. Here's the keys. I'm gonna to have to probably use some sort of a strap or something on this to hold it in place. All right, so we got a finished wire. When I put this on, it's likely to arc a little bit. There is power all the way to the solar charger. The breaker is off because the solar panel is not even hooked up. I still have power running back to the solar charger, so it's gonna see that. So all of this is positive. It's not gonna be a problem with the wrench crossing because it's positive to positive, and I'm gonna have to build a little panel over this. All right, so we're now gonna put this guy on. We'll probably have a little arc there, yep. If I had the ground on this disconnected, there wouldn't have been an arc. Probably what I should have done was that. Take those tools up, Gabe. All fused up, comes into the fuse, over to the shunt. That reads the power coming in to the battery system and out of the battery system to the motor. So uh, inside wiring is done, except for the outside wiring coming in and those ones, I guess. I started those. I don't know why I didn't finish them, but I started them. All right. Up we go. See you later, alligators. Where are you going? Where are you going? I need your help. I'm trying to figure out the lighting for our boat. That's pretty cool, rainbow lighting. <laughs> we have to test this snail horn to see if it works. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are we going to scare the heck out of? <laughs> Gabe's asleep. Oh. Are you ready? Does it work? It works. <laughs> Where are you putting this? It's got to go up outside somewhere. What are you doing? 
I'm making something. So I need to see how far 30 feet is. These are 10, I think. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk it down to 30 feet. Isn't that cool? Helps to have grown up watching electricians do their work. Okay, one roll of white. Gonna make this as tight as I can here. Tell me when you got the red string. You got it? All right, you sucked our string down. Now we can hook a regular string to it and pull our wires through. Push it in as I'm pulling it through. All right, go ahead, Liberty. Okay. Okay, pull it back to you. There we go. I get to feed all these guys in here. So red is on the right side, which is there. And yellow is on the left. Those are all hooked up there. So the only one left is for the arch, which I'm still in the process of running. But you want to pull slow and easy, okay? Tell me when the wire comes out your end. There we go. Done. I'm just going to plug them in. I'm going to figure out where I'm going to put them later. I just hooked up the 320s. I got to do a little more work on the 100s. I, I turned the Xantrex battery charger off this morning so that we could drop our batteries a little bit. So right now we're at 12.74 volts on our batteries, 96%. So we're at nine, minus nine amps coming out, losing 117 watts right now. 12.74 volts, let's go see what our solar panels are doing. The 320s are this one and this one. So I'm going to test them for voltage. Starboard 320, 36.49 volts. The port 320 is sitting at 35.86 volts. One of them's got a little bit of shade on it. I don't know if they both do or not. So if we turn them both on, those two guys should come on. Right now, everything's at zero. So you have a Victron app? Victron app, yep. So if we fire up that one and that one light is blinking blinking solid on that one blinking solid on that one it is putting out 153 watts and the starboard one is doing 114 watts so that means we have solar panels that work those like we do yeah they're not as high a wattage as i'd want right now what is the time it's 111 it's nearly noon it should be about the highest yield you can get off of them so, no, so, so they're really dirty uh there is that having some lunch yeah this is how i eat french toast just like toast so 13.27 volts now that's higher than it was 164 watts going into it so we were losing like 118 watts now we have 116, 164 going in. I mean, they're at 96%, the batteries are, so they're already in the absorption phase, really, for voltage. They're not gonna accept more watts, and maybe that's one of the reasons why they're not putting out more, is because the batteries won't accept it right now. So we're gonna have to try this and see. We should go overnight without the battery, or without plugging in the charger, so the batteries drop, and then see what they do tomorrow. But I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> I'm going to be doing an RV roof in the heat and the rain. You're like way shorter than me when you're sitting in that hole. <laughs> I haven't ran the wire to the ones on the arch yet, but that won't be super bad to do. But everything from the breakers in is all wired. So once I hook up the wires on the panels, we flip a switch and they work. That'll be next week. Yeah, because I got three jobs, three jobs in a row to go do. Yeah. I'm going to be gone at least a week. We want to just say thank you to our new patrons this week that are helping us get Todd 
off those RV roofs. And if you want to help us too, come <laughs> join us and be a patron. We like to know who you are. We like to hear from you. We want to get to know you. Um, people are great. Yeah, we love getting to know you and hearing what adventures you have planned. Yep. So, so stay tuned and we'll see what's going to happen on the next video because we don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. See you later.